All right, so in this training, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the lean mindset and the 5S methodology. And the, the reason that we wanna talk about this is because of the structure of our company. Uh, you know, everybody's employed, which means that when the job is going, you know, the job has like this amount of money in it, right? And as you guys are working, your time increases the cost of the job, right? And if the cost of the job keeps going up and keeps going up and keeps going up, then eventually we're paying out more than we're getting, right? And so what we really want is to figure out ways and methodologies to where the cost of the job remains in a nice, comfortable, profitable zone, right? And so what that requires of you guys is to have a more lean mi mindset. Now, the basic principle of lean is really to eliminate waste. All right, so what, what kind of waste do you think that I'm talking about here? Mm, time, material. Yeah, exactly, time, material, um, wasted motion, you know? I mean, how, how often have you uh, been in one room and realized, oh, I need to get my 5-in-1 tool, but it's like downstairs in the basement and I gotta go rummage, right? So that's like a lot of extra motion. Maybe you forget something and then you gotta go to the store to pick it up, right? So the lean mindset is all about figuring out how can we eliminate the waste, right? The waste of motion, the waste of material, waste of time, all of that energy, all of that, right? And so within Lean, there are several different um, kind of smaller frameworks that help to eliminate that waste. And one of them is the 5S methodology. And this one, I think, comes into play. Certainly it can come into play during the course of the day, but at the end of the day, this is where the 5S methodology is uh, critical because it's all about organization, resetting, getting things prepared for the next day so that when you show up and you're ready to work, all your tools are in the right place, everything is in order, and it's all ready to go, right? And so, you know, the, when we uh, kind of start wrapping up our day, we want to start thinking about this 5S methodology, right? So the first S in the 5S methodology is to sort, okay? So sorting your tools and equipment in your job site. What, what do you think sorting means? Just getting organized. Totally, right? So you, what you might do is you might look at the type of tools that you have for the job, right? Maybe we categorize it or we sort it by like process, right? Maybe we have our prepping materials and, and all those tools, those go in one area. Maybe we've got our painting equipment, brushes, rollers, sundry items, right? We wanna sort them so that we know this pile of sundries, this pile is for prep tools, this pile is for painting tools, this pile is cleaning tools, right? Um, you know, in the past we've been really good about using bins for that. Um, I've even gone as far as to label my bins to say like, this bin is for cleaning supplies, this bin is for brushes, you know, that kind of thing. So that's the first thing that we do, we, we sort it. The second thing that we do is we set it in order. So set in order. So I want you to imagine that you have all of these different piles of things, you know. Um, let's say you have a, you come up on a pile and it's all sundry items. You've got roller covers, you've got tape, you've got uh, plastic, you've got compound, all of that, right? What do you think set in order, if, if I were to do that well, what would that look like? In order about how you're gonna go about the day? That's not, that's not a bad idea. So maybe you're setting it out in an order of like, okay, the first thing that I'm gonna do today is, you know, I'm gonna mask. So I'm gonna put all the masking in a neat stack, you know, ready to go, laid out, come in, grab it, right? Um, the main idea is like, making sure that everything has a place, right? Because mm -hmm. if you're sorting it, and you have a, like, like, imagine you have a pile of like stuff that is not organized at all. It's just like a massive pile of what looks like junk. 
Well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna like just separate out those things, sort it, and then to set it in order means to find a place for it, right? Find that place for it so that when I go to find it the next time, I know where it is. It's not just a smaller unorganized pile, right? <laughs> maybe it's sorted, but maybe it's not organized, right? So we wanna set it in order so that we know, okay, first thing I'm gonna do tomorrow is I'm gonna start masking these baseboards and so let's put the, the, the masking tape uh, right here where we know it's going to be, or maybe we're, you know, maybe it's the paint and we're going to take, we got all the paint, it's over here, so we're going to set it in order. Well, let's set it in order of this color goes in this room, this color goes in this room, this color goes in this room. So you have all the paint ready to go in the rooms that you're going to be in so that when you come to that room, if I run out of a gallon of paint, I don't have to go all the way downstairs, all the way to the, business, the basement, and grab another gallon just to pour, you know, my cup bucket halfway. And then you just set it there and then you walk all the way back up, right? You're gonna be going back and forth down, up and down the stairs 20 times trying to fill your bucket. Whereas if you have all the paint right there in the room that it's in, then you're, you're ready to go. You know, we're, we're not wasting motion here. So then the second, uh, or the third one is to shine, right? So shine, what do you think that means? I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of trying to fit it into an S, right? Like, <laughs> uh, the other, I've also seen this, um, they use the word scrub, right? So what, what do you think this is? Cleaning. Cleaning, right? It's cleaning our tools, right? So obviously brushes are the big one, right? We gotta, you know, we gotta clean our brushes and we wanna make sure that they're, you know, so clean that the water, when that water is flowing out of it, we could just, you know, take a drink out of it. Uh, you know, probably don't actually do that, but like, it's gotta be clean, right? Well, the one that, that always gets me is the, is the, uh, the putty knife, right? You, you use it and then you leave the, uh, you know, the, the spackle cake down there, it dries overnight, and then what do you gotta do? You gotta take time to clean it. Totally, you gotta scrape it off, sand it off, it's getting rusty, it's getting nasty, right? So, when I think of the word shine, I'm, I'm always thinking about my putty knife. I'm thinking like, I want that putty knife to look shiny and bright like it's brand new right after I use it. Well, when's the best time to shine your putty knife? Right after you use it. Right after, right? Like avoid getting... Oh, it's still wet. Exactly, right? Avoid getting the, the spackle cake down there. Avoid it being dried in the first place because you, I mean, all it takes is, you, you know, you all got rags in your pockets, right? Mm -hmm. You take a damp rag, clean it off, and then it's good to go. Set it back in order where it's supposed to go. Or better yet, throughout the day, carry a, a side, you know, like a tool, uh, like a tool belt. Keep it there, but at the end of the day, put it back in order, right? And so the, the fourth S is to standardize. All right, what do you think this word means, standardize? Like set standards? Yeah, right, as a team, set the standard, right? So if, if we're gonna sort these things, set it in order, everything has a place and everything has, you know, every, every, after we use a tool, we clean it, and I would even, I would extend that to your, you know, your, your rollers. You know, you, you take that roller off. How often have you gotten the roller, tried to fit that thing on the roller and you can't get it on there because it's got paint caked up on it, right? And then you gotta sit there with your, you know, with your knife and start peeling away the layers. You have a wet rag. Right. When you take it off, wipe it off so that next time, boom, you're there, right? And so this is about, the standardization is about standardizing this motion right here, right? Throughout the whole crew? Throughout the whole crew, right? Our, whole, our team, you know, being so in sync with, with as a team that we all know what we're doing. We're all doing this process of, all right, we got, our, we, we got to the job site, we're gonna put all of our equipment to, you know, in the center or find a station, Let's sort it out, let's set it in order, let's get it ready for the full job. At the end of the day, we're shining our tools, we're getting it ready, we're putting it back in order. 
And when you do that and it becomes habitual and it becomes a process that you follow all the time, that's standardizing, right? This is our standing procedure. That way, when somebody new comes to the crew or one of the, you know, maybe a crew member gets elevated up to a crew leader, they have the standard. They they know how we run things, right? That's that's what standardization is about. It's like this is how we do it. The last thing is sustain. What does that mean? Mm. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> Following through. Yeah. yeah. Continue to do it, right? It's it's one thing to do this on one job, and it's like oh, we did great. You know, all five. You know, all cylinders were firing. Uh, that was great. It felt this, you know, we didn't feel the hectic disorganization. We felt good about it. It looked good to the customer because they were like, wow, our house, you know, they were like so organized the whole time. Well, if we don't sustain our standards, then we're just kind of back to square one. And what happens when we're back to square one is we start wasting time. We start wasting motion, right? And we, we're back to this the jobs not being profitable, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's, uh, that's the 5S methodology. And I can tell you that if you do this and you get into the habit of it, not only are you going to be, you're gonna make yourself more valuable to the team, but you're also uh, going to have a better work life. Like the day is gonna be less stressful. Things are gonna be less hectic. You're gonna find less accidents happening because of that order. Mm -hmm. So, do that and, and you'll be good. Mm -hmm.